The vault is where we keep some of our most precious samples. Meteorites don't have a particular scientific story to tell. I love all the meteorites, but I guess my super favourites are ones that formed right at the beginning of the solar system that can really tell us how the planets formed, because I think these are the most scientifically useful. There are two main types of meteorite that land on Earth, and they're made of different materials. Most of them come from asteroids, although some come from the Moon, some come from Mars. Uh, but we have all asteroidal ones here. And among the asteroidal ones, most of them are made of rock. They've got rounded blobs in them called uh, chondrules. They formed right at the beginning of our solar system. And a few meteorites are made mostly of iron. So this is an example of an iron meteorite that's really super heavy, too heavy to pick up. Around 1 in 20 are made mostly of iron. So, that, so they're among a rare type. But where have these meteorites journeyed from? Most meteorites are debris, leftovers from the birth of the solar system four and a half billion years ago. And most of them orbit the sun between Jupiter and Mars in the asteroid belt. Things in the asteroid belt can be quite chaotic. Often they crash into each other or uh, they can be affected by the gravity of Jupiter, which is the biggest uh, planet in our solar system. And uh, these uh, things can, can make them career into the inner solar system and possibly crash down on Earth. One February day in 2013, the sky above the Russian city of Chelyabinsk lit up. Thousands of people saw this massive fireball which exploded in the sky. Over a thousand people were, were injured, mostly by the shock wave of the blast when the bolide um, exploded. This was actually the biggest impact that we know of on Earth in the last hundred years. It was a really, really unusual event, and it resulted in about a ton of material ending up on the surface of the Earth. 